I was very fortunate to find an HP 48G2 on eBay for $20 with free shipping. Uh, I was actually surprised to be able to find one uh, for that low and uh, that was in good condition. I just got an email, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it and uh, do a quick comparison. This is a 49G Plus, uh, by the way. I like to call the 48G2 the baby of 50G because seeing the baby 49G Plus is just, I don't know, it just sounds a little weird because the 49G2 is really, uh, looks more like a 49G Plus than it does a, a 50G, okay? So I have the box facing down to avoid displaying my address and the sender's address. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, uh, and uh, uh, this is uh, very well packed, that's a good thing. Okay, my videos are not scripted, and uh, they probably never will be. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this guy didn't really want to take any risk. I, I, I expect that for free shipping. And uh, the shipping was uh, fairly fast as well. It took uh, three days. I made the purchase on the 3rd. And uh, the buyer shipped it on the 5th of October. Okay, so yeah, thankfully my address was not displayed here or the sender's address. Nice. Well, wow, this is really, really well packed. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with uh, the packaging. Okay, not necessary. Not necessary, but uh, <laughs> better be safe than sorry. This is actually my second time uh, holding one in my hand, and last time I held one was not too long ago. I just held it for. Oh wow, nice. Yeah, the last time I held one in my hand was in a darker room, so I did not even know that the color, I thought the color was the same as the 49G Plus. So this is, uh, this is identical, as you can see, when it comes to the keyboard or the key layout, it is identical to the 49G Plus and the 50G. That's why I like to call it the, 40, the baby 50G because it has the same function, function, functionality, fun, function, ah, I can't speak English functionalities <laughs> uh, when it comes to the software uh, it is essentially the same as the 49G plus the 50G and even the 49G that came out in 1999 this I believe uh, I can't quite remember uh, the exact year but it came out uh, either in 2005 or 2006 I can't quite remember so I'm probably gonna have to uh, you're probably gonna need to google that for yourself but uh, yeah, it is uh, faster than the 49G, that's for sure. It should be faster, way faster than the 49G that came out in 1999 because this came out in mid-2000, I believe, mid-2000. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. Mid-2000 or early-2000? So there shouldn't be any battery in it. I really wanted the, uh, so okay, so uh, something that I want to mention before I forget, the 49G2 uh, ha uh, had two different versions, one with uh, a uh, three triple, that, that takes uh, three triple A batteries and uh, there is a second version that takes uh, four triple A batteries, that's the one you really want because that one has more flash memory and more RAM as well, but when it comes to the processor speed, it is essentially the same, okay? So yeah, that's always good to have and here we have the backup battery. Uh, it's probably gonna be dead. The backup battery on most of this stuff are dead anyways, but, was, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it inside anyways. <laughs> I don't even know how this one came off. Yeah, okay, so just push it. Yeah. Okay, fairly easy. Okay, so I have uh, some batteries here. These came out, out of my uh, TI uh, <laughs> Voyage 200 that I managed to uh, break. Uh, did, I, I broke the display while I was trying to disassemble it. <laughs> it is what it is. And uh, on eBay, uh, in in the pictures, they show the calculator uh, on, so this should work right away. Yep. Very nice. This is in really, really good condition. I want to mention that. Not good, it's actually in excellent condition. 
yeah, as you can see, they, they, they just uh, they literally just recycled the case or yeah, the casing of the 49G and just did some minor tweak to it. You can even see that uh, I guess at some point they wanted to keep uh, the SD card stop, but they decided to drop it because this was uh, a low hand version of the 49G plus or the 50G. Uh, I can't quite remember the uh, exact processor it is using, but it is a uh, uh, slower than the 50g the flag the flagship calculator at the time or even the 49g okay so out of the box it comes uh, in algebra mode and uh if you have uh these calculators from hp uh the uh 49g plus you know their legacy uh uh calculators you want to use them in rpn that's what anybody would want okay so i'm gonna put this in rpn really quick Okay, I'm trying to do this behind the camera, so yeah, it's gonna be slightly awkward. Um, so I'm gonna go to flag. You know, uh, the software on these calculators are essentially all the same, so yeah, and this is really fast. I'm really happy. So this is compared to the 49G, this is much faster than the 49G, I can tell already. So box. I'm gonna choose that. Those are the only two options I choose really. If I press OK, this one for some reason always uh, reset back to uh, algebra. So you do that and uh, on a display, I like to change my font to either seven or six. Okay, I'm gonna set it to six. Mm, and the header, yeah, that's fine. The clock, do we wanna display the clock? Eh, clock on the calculator, eh, it's hot. Uh, so the textbook notation and uh yeah so we can uh, confirm our choices and uh that's it so the difference the obvious difference is going to be the display the display is actually uh, uh smaller not by much you know the display is uh still very uh, generous <laughs> when it comes to calculator but uh when i turn on my fifth 49g plus you can see the obvious difference in the display you know uh so Huh. It's not even that bad, you know. The stack here is displaying up to seven line, and here it is displaying up to seven line as well. So that's not too bad. Let me put uh, the numbering. Uh, let me actually check the uh, the display. Okay, so that's because the font on that one was set to eight. Eight is a much bigger font. So if you reduce it to six as well, then you would see that uh, now uh, it is showing from one to all the way to. 10 but i want to say 9 so yeah there is that so that's the uh, difference between the display let's see what the normal looks like yeah so this is what the normal looks like this might be smaller for some people so yeah you can adjust it to uh, a slightly bigger font but uh, yeah that's your choice anyways i like to have a uh, set to 6 sometimes i change it back to 7 but yeah there is that Anyways, they have the same uh, features for the most part. Uh, the software is essentially identical, and uh, the keyboard layout, like I said earlier, is essentially identical. So if you are, you were coming from uh, a 49G plus or even a 50G, then this would be uh, pretty much uh, the same thing. You know, the only difference you might notice is going to be uh, in the graphing speed, perhaps, and uh, performing certain operations, certain expressions. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, try and do some graphs. So when you are in RPN mode. You have to hold this and press F1. It's going to take you to the uh, equation editor. And when you are in the equation editor, then it doesn't matter. You can just uh, hit shift to go back from a uh, window to the uh, to the uh, Y editor. That's really weird. That's on, this only happens when you are in RPN. But when you are in algebraic mode, then you can just uh, hit the uh, left shift key once and then uh, press F1 for some reason. In RPN, you have to hold it and then press F1. All right, so that is that. So here we are in RPM. Let's see. This one was about to fall. So here we are in RPM. I'm gonna hold it, F1. And uh, yeah, I was doing some operations earlier. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all this stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some more. And uh, something I wanna emphasize is that this Y1 of X is really, you don't really have to have it. You can delete it. It's only there to save your equations if you wanna uh, reuse them for, uh, uh, for for later, so you can erase the whole thing and just put your equation there. So let's just do a uh, x square, uh, shift it down two units. Why not? And press enter. It's gonna put it on here for you. 
So we can do the same thing here. As you can see, I can just remove this because I don't plan on keeping this equation, equation so I don't want to save it to any uh, uh, slot. So x square minus, uh, shift it down to units minus two. Okay, enter. And I'll make sure you erase in case there were any graph. So I'm gonna go and press uh, draw at the same time. Okay, so yeah. So the difference is not even that, uh, that obvious. Uh, let's click on cancel and go to the window settings. So they are both using the default settings and I believe this one has a slight advantage. So I'm gonna set it to zero. The step by default is going to be zero. And uh, if you didn't know that, then you can always uh, press next and uh, reset the these values here. So you press reset all values, press enter, it's gonna reset it. So this is how the calculator comes out of the box. So now they are both using uh, the default values. So I'm gonna go and try to grab it again. Okay, so mm, I guess press, uh, okay. So should I press cancel instead of okay? Okay, so erase, erase. Now I'm gonna redraw them. Okay, so <laughs> there really isn't any difference between these two, but I believe this has a faster processor. But when it comes to graphing, as you can see, as you just saw for yourself, there really isn't any difference, at least for this kind of graph. So let's uh, make it more challenging to add uh, some more graphs. So cancel. Okay, so I already uh, uh, put all the equations I'm going to graph here. Uh, before, something I wanna mention before I forget is that uh, uh, on my uh, 49G Plus, I noticed that uh, the zero key is uh, does not really uh, register your input unless you press really hard. So that's kind of unfortunate. And uh, that is something that is not here, which is uh, great to know. It could just be my model because it is a fairly old calculator. So it could just be this unit. Maybe uh, the calculator is getting old and uh, yeah, uh, the keys are, stopped, are not work working properly. But that's something I want to point out. Also, some people also uh, claim that the keyboard on the 50G is much, much better than uh, the keyboard on this 49G Plus. So that could also be the reason. Okay. So yeah, uh, that's something I just want to mention before I forget. So let's go back to our graph. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I never, I never thought that uh, it was going to get rid of uh, the graphs that I did not save. Uh, well, 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 it is what it is. I guess I'm just gonna do it uh, here. Uh, you know, you always learn something new with these calculators. It's not a big deal. I'll do it really quick. Uh, so this is a cosine function, secant of x. Uh, this, okay, also this, these calculators, they don't have all the trig functions, which is something uh, all Texas Instrument calculators do, such as secant, the secant, or even cotangent. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. So one over cosine of x. And uh, let's add one more graph, one over x. Yeah, let's do that, one over x. I, don't even, I can't remember which one I did last. Okay, so erase all the graph, and I'm gonna try to graph them along. So this just uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna check and see uh, which one is gonna uh, finish graphing first. Uh, you probably won't, this graph is gonna look really messy because it's not gonna be uh, crystal clear because of the, uh, of the way these functions look. Okay, anyways, let's let's go and graph them. Okay, so. Okay, so now you can see the 49G plus shining. It's not, the difference is not even that, that noticeable. So you are not going to really be wishing you went for uh, the 49G plus when it comes to graphing because the speed is almost identical as you can see. All right, so these just ignore these vertical lines, they're really not relevant, but uh, yeah, uh, that's I guess that's all I wanted to do for uh, this uh, uh overview. And uh, I actually like uh, the 49G plus the 49G2 better because the keys just look much nicer, in my opinion. I really wasn't a big fan of these uh, yellow, uh, the uh, yellow uh, writings, I uh, don't like it, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So if you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section. And size-wise, you can see they are essentially identical and they both have one port at the top. The 49G Plus has a slot for a, micro, for a regular size SD card and this one does not. So this one only has a, this uh, mini USB port. Mini USB B port. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
I think it wouldn't be fair to stop this video without making a, without doing a, like a, how you call it? Uh, uh, like a, anyways, some uh, math operation. Let's just go and do uh, some equation solving, some integrals or even su summation. Why not? All right. I said I was going to make a, 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 a do some operation, but I think I'm just going to save that for later. So yeah, see you in the next video.